What's going on guys? Poison RC coming at you with another video. Um, so my last video I installed the upper brace and the steering bell crank uh, by Hot Racing. Um, that went for overall went pretty smooth. Uh, but this power system that came factory on the Outcast is actually um, a pretty good system. But I bought an upgrade. And I just figured if I'm going to do the upgrade, as you guys already knew, was the um, the servo saver, the hot racing adjustable servo saver. Uh, I was just going to go ahead and take this all out. And I want to do a direct swap from my uh, Arma Crate and 8S. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty much putting a, do what we'll just say, uh, like a heart transplant. Um, so I'm taking this entire system out. I'm gonna take it, you know, the entire thing out, and I'm gonna swap in the system that I really want in there, which is the Hobbywing Max Five, um, eight gauge wire, same Castle uh, Castle Cre Creations uh, bullet connectors, and then what I mostly want it for is the servo that I bought, brushless servo. Uh, it's uh, the Spectrum. Let's see if my thing would focus. Yeah, you can kind of see it. But it's actually the Spectrum 9120BL high voltage digital brushless servo. So this is uh, the true fifth scale one. Um, you do have to get the other receiver. Uh, box kit that uh, Arma sells, so it comes with the one six and the one fifth scale um, <clears throat> receiver box. So in order to put this bigger servo in there, you have to actually get uh, the receiver kit. Uh, therefore, I mean, obviously, I've already done it. Uh, it's a two hundred dollar servo, and I wish my phone would cut auto focusing. I'll shut that off. Um, so real basic. I um, mean, it's pretty much a direct swap. Um, and so I'm taking this crappy servo saver off, and then I'm putting the hot racing one on. So, that being said, uh, there's four bolts that takes this whole entire unit out, plus your uh, one bolt, which is your um, your steering, steering linkage bolt. Uh, so that is a two mil. I've already done the upgrade on this. Oh, let's, how about we use the right tool? I am kind of tired. Um, so this one I'll just take out because it's real simple and then the other ones I will show you but then I'll pause the video because I don't want to take up too much time so that was real easy um, I, like, I like the hot racing uh, look so that being said now you'll need the 2.5 millimeter and you're going to take out these, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of directly across right here. There's a bolt. This one up here. This one back here. And then this one. And the entire unit will drop out. So let me go ahead and take those bolts out real quick, and I'll get back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So I'm working on this last bolt right here. Okay. So there's, like I said, there's four bolts. Sit the guy down. And let's see here. Voila. All comes out one giant thing. Uh, don't lose that um, that part. And then I'm going to bring my Max 5 and my awesome uh, steering servo. And then I have a uh, Spectrum receiver in there for my um it's kind of out of date but it's better than stock the dx4c um digital controller so well i have this out of the creighton because the creighton's kind of having surgery kind of right now we're going to go ahead and don't think i'll need too much here take this off and there's going to be a bolt down there or a screw i should say I want to say that's going to be probably a 2 mil. Nope, it might be a 2.5. Yeah, it's a 2.5. So, 
you kind of want to leave this centered if possible because that's kind of how it's going to be when you go to install it. So try to keep that centered. Take that screw out and it'll take this whole entire unit off. I know we did some surgery on this thing, yeah, just kind of falls apart. Yeah, that's kind of typical. And this guy was kind of a snot to get off. So we'll take that. Yeah, I figured it's not going to be easy to get off. I don't want to like reef on this too much because it's a nice servo. So we're pretty much going to take your crappy um, mount here. So then you're going to go ahead and open this one. Uh, if you guys want the part number for that, it's the AFE focus camera. Quit focusing. AFE48SH15. Okay, I'm going to pause it real quick on unbox or unpack it. Okay, so you're going to have to take your um, your other your steering link off this old plastic one in order to um, swap it. So there's that part. Far as a screw, I don't think you need one because Hot Racing provides you with a screw. So this is a Hot Racing screw it provides you. All right, hold on real quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Sorry for uh, the little delay here. Um, I noticed something um, between the Creighton and the, um, the Outcast. So, on this, this is the one that came out of the uh, Outcast. So, they did a revised uh, design, it looks like. So, Far as I know, this servo saver is the same, but um, as you can see, they put a nut on here, uh, like a, it's kind of like a little longer bolt maybe, um, and they put a nut on there. So that's from the Outcast, and then if you go over to here, this is the one off the Creighton, and so this pretty much just screws on. There's no nut; it's all like one piece. Um, and I do know I was having problems with my steering. Um, and then supposedly somebody... Like, there's a lot of videos on YouTube saying about the Creighton steering sucks. Um, but I noticed you pretty much screw that on and there's no nut. Um, so... I'm thinking that I might just leave this the way it is. Use this one on my Creighton. Because I... You know, I'm not too much of a fond of my Creighton right now at the point in time. And then I'll take the one that came off the Outcast and kind of leave it the way it is. And just use the Hot Racing uh, Servo Saver here. Um, so let me pause it real quick and I'll get back with you guys. Alrighty guys, I'm back. Uh, just did a little swap through. Um, I kind of like how this Hot Racing, um, you know, it's metal so it's not plastic so you're not like forcing it. Uh, to fit on and see how they just kind of like just slides on I kind of really liking that um, so that being said here um, let's see here if I get this to go back on
just like that. Get that long screw in there. Let's get the right tool, I should say. Get her tight, you don't have to get her like super tight. What the heck is going on? So, maybe that's why they gave a smaller screw. Kind of a miss situation here. I'm trying to figure it out because they don't really give you any instructions. Okay, so that small screw goes in there. They gave you a small screw and I was like, what does that go to? But now I know. So that should be centered. think what size let me see what size it is sorry folks it's a 2.5 of course it is sometimes they uh, give you different um, screws um, as far as I told you so let's try this again drop that 2.5 in there and give a little shake make sure she's down there Alright, that's more like it. Now it's not coming off. So yeah, you have to um, use the screws they give you, of course. So, put this little, your bearing, my bearing's already in there. So, uh, that's that. Make sure uh, lines are back up. So, um, adjustment's going to be off a little bit. So this is um, pretty much centered right now. Um, so I'm gonna have to thread this out a little bit. Um, to center it. So. Instead of, let's see here. Hold on, I'm gonna pause it again. Okay, so I did have to thread it out uh, quite a few turns. I don't know if you guys see that. But uh, before it was pretty much uh, all the way closed. Um. I like that one looks closed. This one you had to thread out pretty far. So um, that's just must be kind of what they do. Um, then you want to grab your your two mil screw again. And you could go ahead and probably put that back. Well, not on the chassis obviously. But now the smart thing to do um, so it looks like it's centered um, so that should be too bad but um smart thing to do is turn on your uh, your re your uh, ESC and make sure um, that it's at zero on the uh, uh, radio and it's so it's uh, zeroed out on there so because sometimes you turn it on and it's not it'll turn it and then you your settings are way off so that's a point in hint time um, so that being said um, you just pretty much wrap it up by putting those four screws underneath there um, and you're pretty much put back together so that's that's um, that for now. So uh, that's how to install your hot racing um, servo saver. Sorry, I didn't really explain it a little too well. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.